Hello again, YouTube. Grimjack here, sitting in my chair, ignoring, ignoring, <laughs> ignoring the sunset behind me, enjoying a nice hot cup of lava. What am I going to do with a nice hot cup of lava? Well, as it turns out, I'm still working on the factory, and I need to make a compressed drawer controller and the compressed drawer controller happens to require or drawer controller happens to require some redstone comparators well redstone comparators require nether quartz so i did have to grab some lava grab some of my precious redstone and i am basically making up a few redstone uh sorry nether rack here so that i can get my nether quartz and i am clicking and talking at the same time and doing a miserable job of it and that way i can get my controller going and keep going on the factory and let's see i have um what have i done since we spoke last well actually i've done quite a bit let's go see you see i now have everything up and running here uh, just as it was before everything's feeding in and the speed is almost perfect it is staying right in between 35 and 60 cobblestone on the final destination so that speed setting on the extractor was perfect i have up Upgraded with some speed upgrades because I am running off of a single dynamo down here that is generating 120 RF a tick. I have some speed upgrades in each of these and some fortune upgrades only in the dust sieve because I haven't made any more actually. Everything is getting dumped into here. Every, all the ores are sitting here just fine, getting pulled out and sifted out, turned into stacks, dumped over here. Now, this is what all the stuff that I've added. I have a pipe coming out to collect um, copper dust, copper ore dust. I have some leftovers here that I haven't done anything with yet, which I'm going to give you a quick example of right here I'll dump them in here and they will start heading downstairs well what's going on downstairs I don't know we'll find out in a second let's get rid of the aluminum here and come down here and follow the pipe it's the sand and the gravel is getting thrown into this automatic hammer which also has 14 speed upgrades uh, and it has actually kept up and uh, 14 speed upgrades for three sieves, doing all of that is more than enough. You do not need more than that. Matter of fact, I'm, I caught up so quickly, I probably have too much power being used there. It is currently consuming 22 RF a tick. Big whoop. Okay. Whoa, that was a surprise. Um, and what it's doing is all of the dust is coming down and feeding into my smell tree. Now my re reinforced filter, you have to go with a reinforced filter because anything less than that you can't do this many uh, whitelisted items. White lists everything except copper. The barrel will only accept copper so copper dust gets pumped down into that and all the other dusts get pumped down into here. I am running three ingot casts just as I did on my previous world as you can see it is barely it is not keeping up so I have gotten more stuff coming in faster well I had a lot of material and it continued to dump and you just saw me dump a, a few stacks in ultimately I think this will keep up if not I have room to add another ingot cast right here so I have uh, servos pulling them out of the bottom and pumping back up to that chest and that chest will be replaced with the controller that I am in the process of trying to make. And so sieving up netherrack is... Huh, I'm going to get at least two um, nether quartz. I know that. I'll probably get one whoa wait a second 
Oh, sneaky. All right, how do I get another quartz? Um, soul sand. You evil, evil bastard. Okay, there has got to be another way also. I thought there was... All right, that changes things a lot. So now I have to... I thought it was nether rack. Okay, so nether rack. What can I do with nether rack? Oh, I can make another furnace. Um, nether bricks. I will be needing them. Crushed nether rack. What can I do with crushed nether rack? Crushed nether rack is where I get the gas tears and my um, cobalt and ardite. But look at those, 1% drop, 1% drop. Well, I am not going to expect to get squat. <laughs> I will expect to get exactly squat out of 12 netherrack. I'm not messing with that. Okay, didn't research it, was trying to go through memory, and this was a one-way trip to uselessness. <laughs> okay, so what that means now is I have to build up my witch water farm so that I can, oh, and the materials being produced by these pulverizers, even with those speed upgrades, is far faster than I'm going through it. So as you can see, I'm, I'm building up an, a surplus of materials, so I will be able to put in more power and increase speed, which means that ultimately I'll definitely need another uh, ingot caster off of the smell tree. Now, if I, if I made it with a smaller smell tree, it would let in less materials. There would be a bigger backlog here. But as you can see, this is going to be plowing through it for a while. And uh, yeah, I'm okay. I'm happy with it. So now I'm not going to be able to finish my controller, obviously. So I'm going to throw another rack in there. Not that it really should go there. Big trees. Get rid of that redstone. Um, I need sand and witch water, and in order to get witch water, I need... I'm going to do my dual purpose system here again. I'm going to put eight total barrels. I'm going to be pumping water in from an aqueous accumulator down below, and then I will put a single piece of mycelium here in the middle, which will then allow all eight of these to turn to witch water. And I will have a chest feeding into a pipe dumping sand into each of the barrels. And so the sand will turn to soul sand and I will have a stack or two of soul sand very quickly. I just have to go through all of the steps. And since it's going to take quite a while, I am going to probably pause and work on it off camera because I've already demonstrated this system. I'll walk you through it after I've done, but I don't think you really want to watch me go through 25 minutes of prepping for this when we can probably get more in in this episode. So I will be back in a moment and show you what I'm done. Popped back in for a second. I noticed that I was running into lighting uh, situations. So I took one of my glowstone panels and cut it into nooks. Nooks are a very quick, easy, cheap way to uh, light up areas that is uh, basically friendly on servers because it doesn't have all the animation. But uh, the only thing that you will notice is it does affect pathing. So if you're ever working with golems or mobs that you want to path a certain way, the all micro blocks will interrupt and really screw with pathing. But for this, out here in the open like this, it'll work fine. So now, whoops. <laughs> Not what I wanted. Yeah, it's alright. Don't have anything in there yet. So um, as you can see, I've got my piping down. I've got servos in all of those. 
I will have one pipe going down there, which I can do right now. And that will be for extracting the soul sand. And now I just need to get some fluiduct. I don't need the fancy stuff, so I think I've got some of the cheap stuff over here. And I do not see it, either that or I am blind. So let's check my golden bag of holding. That's where it is. The leads. No, that's flux duct. Uh, hardened. I'm going to make some regular fluiduct, and I'm going to run a pipe up here, which means I got to drill down from here. Geronimo! And yeah, I took a little damage, but I'm okay. That's what food's for. Okay, so I will actually be making a... Yeah, I'm going to do it up there. I don't really want a lot of other industry down here so I'm going to make my aqueous accumulator right there and I'm going to end up doing it's still going to have one extra layer underneath it because otherwise I'm going to be getting drips and those kind of annoy me so this will go like so and then I will do what you do one thing like this hold on one second I think it'll work I'm not 100% certain but I think it'll work so I take my saw and I take a cobblestone and I'm gonna cut it all the way down into panels and those panels stuck on that surface should leave should block off the water drips while at well that was silly okay I didn't need to cover the entire section so I'll go ahead and peel these ones off for some reason I thought that 8 was going to cover all of this silly me And there, and there. So that should bunk. All right, that should. Wait a minute, I'm missing one still. There it is. All right, let's go see. I have my buckets, and. I still need to make the aqueous accumulator, which will ultimately be one of the quest items, but... Alright, let's come over here. And do... This... And that... No! Alright. <laughs> uh, that's gonna suck. <laughs> uh, well... Well, the panel keeps that from happening. All right. <laughs> uh, derp. Oh, such professionalism. <laughs> Here we go. You stay there. You go there. And I'm glad that bag didn't just drop straight into the void. I would have been real unhappy. <laughs> That's the only... Well, it's still not a reincarnating bag, so that part doesn't matter, but... All right, so that is now ready for the aqueous accumulator. I could have gone one up from that. You know, I could have gone one up from that. I don't know if I'm... I may end up reworking it and moving it up higher, but let's see if it did, it did away with the drips. So you know what? I can still move it up one higher and get the better result, so I think I'm going to do that anyhow, just because that's kind of annoying and then I can fill in the rest of it and it won't look so bad but I don't want this whole big tuber here all right so I will be right back and I'm back I wanted to I had mentioned earlier on about automating a hardened glass so I figured I'd show you how I do it 
I throw some uh, obsidian straight into the hopper, and as you'll see, it throws one in right there. Now, as long as that is there, it will continue to feed obsidian through. So the lead will melt here. As soon as it me melts, the clock will automatically do a pour. It doesn't. It won't do a full pour because it can't. But by the time it converts over, the hopper will throw the next obsidian in. So this is kind of a set and forget as long as you have your numbers correct. So two obsidian, one ingot of lead, and it will do things automatically any second now. Probably, probably happen as soon as I look away. <laughs> Isn't that always the case? So it should go now or not. Yep, there it is. And what? What? Okay. I don't think it, I the clock won't do it because it's not a full pour. Oh well. <laughs> it was waiting for me. I thought the clock was going to do it automatically. It didn't. So well. And as you see, the obsidian goes straight in as soon as it switches over you just hit it it's not a set and forget oh well you can possibly do it with a fluid duct i'm not sure i would expect you could because you're not running the the, the fluid ducts are a little more i don't want to say forgiving they're a little smarter uh, and fluid ducts are also a good way to get materials out of a basin if you accidentally pour something in, you can pump it back in reverse. You can't do it through the drain or through the um, faucet. And since there are no more, there's my six. I can go make some uh, some more uh, clear item ducts because that's what I love. And I will be back. I'm back and there you have it. We are complete. I have my mycelium in the middle. I've got eight barrels of witch water. I've got an extraction servo. Well, a servo. It's automatically extracting. And it will start pulling those out. Double click. I now have four stacks of sand going in. And you'll see it hits, turns to so turns to soul sand very rapidly. And refills with water and starts becoming witch water again. Now if you're have the time and the inclination you can watch this and as these fill with water it will drop mushrooms um, so if you're paying attention and we're you do decide you want to do the beef wellington you do need mushrooms for that this is one way to get them if you <laughs> really have nothing better to do than to sit here and collect mushrooms that's one way to do it now i can come down here and there we go. We have soul sand. It is not super fast, but it will do the job. And yes, the uh, panels did keep it from looking leaky. And I did move it up one and then made it nice and consistent around the outside. So we are now getting, getting where we want to be. I'm going to take all 10 of those. Actually, I'm going to put those back in do that just because I like to lock barrels even if I clean them out I'm doing three full stacks so I expect to have basically what's going to happen is I want to go ahead and start on the AE system I want to get going on well the ME storage and I'm going to need Fluix crystals. And to get Fluix crystals, I need to have the nether quartz that I was talking about earlier. So I will have some here, but what I want to do is I want to get about a stack of it, grind up the nether quartz into uh, nether quartz dust, just like I have Certus quartz dust here. I'm going to combine it with sand, and I'm going to start growing some pure crystals now. Um, I have 22 charged Certus quartz, so I can make the fluix crystals grind them up and grow some pure fluix crystals as well so and these are I've, I've done a lot with ae i'm used to it 
Um, I will, whoa, I've already got my first nether quartz. The nether quartz is a very high drop percentage. So let's go back here to nether quartz. And let's see, it tells us what the actual drop percentage is. 100% for one and 33% for a second one. So you will get, I should get, at least 10 nether quartz. Uh, probably closer to 13 would be the 100% and 33%. We shall see. I'm only doing 10 for now just because that gets me my comparator. And that's the one that I'm after right now. And... Let's see, what are the other possible... I didn't actually look at what my drops were. Okay, so I got uh, uh, average power catalyst, which is good for uh, blood magic alchemy for making potions. I got some tainted soil. And I got bupkis. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I got my 12, so I got less than average on the nether quartz, but I did get what I expected in general. So let's come over here and go with my comparator. Comparator is going to be you. I need one, two, three. Actually, I need two of them. That's why I had six redstone torches. And I need that, and I need that. So that gets me my two. And these back here. Yes, I added the extra storage upgrades to all four of these because I was using the main grid area as a storage area. I'm sure I was driving several of you absolutely crazy. But we have gotten past that, I promise. I need the controller. And that would be this puppy right here. So I need one, two, three. I need the two comparators. I need the double drawer, which is sitting right. I don't think I have an extra one sitting around. I thought I did. No, I'm sure I used it, so I'll make another one. And make a couple extra. That, that. Do that. So this, the work table is just absolutely one of my favorite um, easy early productions. I still have a tendency now to use the uh, the production table over there a little more often just because of the sheer volume of stuff that I can juggle but it is still a very valuable and worthwhile little device and now let's go get a diamond fortunately I have a few of them uh, yeah I'm doing okay 33 Elorium like that Yellorium, if you watched my first series, is relatively important to me because I love big reactors. Because I like getting power just up and running and not having to worry about it ever again. Uh, so, I do that from time to time. Now, I think I want this to be a three-wide opening. I really don't want to have to put the controller to there. So, I'm, gonna th I'm hoping that where is my dolly hello dolly no dolly dolly is probably in the golden bag because that's usually where i keep it yes there it is and let's get rid of this stuff and get rid of the mushrooms and let's see what else have we got. I want to. Um, ooh, wait a second. Have I not got anything coming? 
out? Are you? Yeah, you're pouring. Okay. You can pour in stuff, but... Oh, I'll bet you that chest is full. So if the chest is full, the servos won't have a place to put something, so they won't move it. So those were iron. This chest is full. Bingo. As you saw, I had lots of iron. So now I'm going to take the chest. I'm going to put it right there. And this will be the test. Is it going to recognize and release the materials? It is. Perfect. So, the materials are coming up. We have iron. It knows where iron goes. Now, it just so happens that I have, and this is one of the problems, with, this, with what I just did, the minute it pours something I don't already have allocated in here, it won't come. But I do have iron already pulled, so I can go ahead and... Why won't it? Hmm. Command shift click is not letting me grab all my iron out. That is an official annoyance. But I can come over here, get rid of it, and grab my invar. I have a tendency of stacking the most needed materials closest to my my uh production area. I'll probably same thing here. So redstone, glowstone, diamonds, progress progressively lower volume, lower need equipment at, or uh, drops going off to the right. And I have shiny over there, I think. I know I have electrum over there. I know I have gold over there. But, and yes, I have silver. Good. Okay. So silver... I wanted here and lead, electrum, shiny, butter, no, <laughs> gold. Yes, I will probably make that joke once or twice more, but that's it. And okay, so. Um, lead, I know where that is. Ferrous, I don't know if I put that in or not over here. Uh, lead. Since there are eight base materials, because I don't have copper, and there is two base blends, Invar and Electrum, I need at least 11 compacting drawers, which I do not have yet. So I need to go make some more compacting drawers, and I will be right back. And I'm back. What's only been a moment for you has been a couple hours for me. I was so distracted, I kind of lost track, and <laughs> oh my goodness, that is one monster tree that it is now fighting to clear um yeah <laughs> Alrighty then well a couple things have happened while i was gone one um the tree took over i was working on the factory and part of working on the factory and all of these micro blocks and yes this is all micro blocks in here still required an awful lot of bricks so i turned this into a dual purpose system uh, i took out the mycelium and replaced it with regular dirt i have plenty of ancient spores so i can put it back at any point and this is not locked for a reason i can put either sand to make soul sand or i can put dust with the water to make clay um clay I put in a second barrel over here. So the second barrel, so I've got either soul sand or clay coming off of the little farm. And I took three stacks of soul sand and set up a, an extra here. And yeah, I've got myself some nether quartz, which is good. Fuse wood sapling, dark wood sapling, more stuff, and weak blood shard. Weak blood shard, good. That will be helpful 
when I decide to do blood magic. And the gas tier. I'm surprised it's only this much. But it's been running a while and on a solar panel, so I haven't really had to worry about it too much. So, while I was... F I, I started to complete the... Uh, this little project over here and then changed my mind. And the reason I changed my mind is because I was thinking, okay, what am I... I wanted more barrels right here off of this wall. And the reason for these extra barrels was for my mob farm, which I was going to build up there. And then I went, you know what? It's a factory. I could probably have a smokestack that doubles as a mob farm. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I mean, I got my, all my little windows up here. I'm going to have to build in... I have my main smeltery downstairs, but I'm going to have to build in a small smeltery here. The reason for that is any quick projects such as um, gears or uh, anything to do with copper, because I'm going to want to do my copper separate from the from the main, main uh, smeltery. But I want to have my mob farm up there doing a drop and kill and then just pump the part, the, uh, the spoils of war over here. And then have like an extra chest. Oh, yeah, I'll probably pipe something underneath and just have, a, have an extra loot chest appear over here or something from, from all of the other stuff that doesn't go in the barrels. Anyhow, I have now run out of time. It has been a very long day uh, <laughs> in Minecraft today. And uh, thank you very much for watching. I greatly appreciate. Please leave comments down below. I would appreciate uh, any likes or feedback. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Let me know what you think. I would like uh, feedback from you. I'm having a blast doing this, and I'm hoping you're enjoying it as well. Thank you very much. Be well, and goodbye.